probably our favorite cooks no matter where we eat. Dishes from mom's kitchen always taste better. That is why for today's restaurant discovery, we will feature a food spot serving a nostalgic and homey dining experience here at Lola Cafe and Bar. Today, we will provide you with a new choice in Quezon City, a new choice. The Lola Cafe and Bar. This is a old house that was built to be a home and a home for the family's family dinner. Hi Janelle, welcome to Lola Cafe. Thank you. You know what, I really love the ambience of your restaurant. So can you tell me more about it? Sure. Um, before, it was an old house, an ancestral house built in the 1950s. Um, there's no one living here anymore, so we decided that Hey, why don't we just try to convert it into a nice restaurant? So we named it after the, the former owner of the house, Jose Lola, the grandmother. We want to make it into a uh, modern um, restaurant, um, but still having the same spirit of the, you know, the, the nostalgia, being Filipino. So which type yeah. of food do you serve here? We serve primarily Filipino food. Um, we made sure that it's it reminds you of your grandmother's cooking, uh, but we also made it sure that it's not going to be very common, uh, commonly uh, found in other restaurants who serve real traditional food. So we also uh, place a little bit of twist. With the experience like Lola's Cafe and Bar and the Philippine food. We also provide the and so what do we have here? Alright, so what we have here is a good spread of um, traditional but major modern take on Filipino food. Um, so yeah, let's start with soup. So what we have here is uh, molo soup. Lola's molo soup, um, The difference between this and then maybe your traditional one is Instead of using pork, um, we use chicken to make it a bit more healthier. To give it an extra kick, we added the uh, whipped queso tea into it. Masarap! Chicken, unique, unique siya na miso soup, di ba? Sobrang dahil nga sa queso puti na yun. Yeah, alright. Um, maybe we can try the salad next. Um, this one's an alugbati salad. The alugbati salad, yo alugbati he barots kun he echeng. It has that very, very earthy texture, so what we do is we scorch it a bit. Wow, so I thought my mom would be able to eat Yeah, actually, because it's not with salad. Not with salad, but they usually add it to mga stews and everything. Yeah, so basically, it was inspired by one of our, ano, one of our mga lolas and lolos. The other dish is the Wagyu Salt Pickle. It's the original dish from the Philippines' local dish. The interesting, the, the, the interesting thing about it is um, it's Japanese cattle, but they actually, the owners bought it and then they actually raised it in Bukidnon to create our local brand of Wagyu. You know what the ordinary salt pecao is like this? It's like this before, but it's different from the salt pecao. What's so unique about this dish? Siguro, um, yun yung ano eh. That's the thing with Filipino cuisine. It actually transcends kung saan ka galing it. So siguro, this is what uh, we learned from our, ano, from our parents, um, from the other cooks here in Lola. Tinola fried rice, yeshi Lola's itao wen ming da Philippine thai. Instead of it being your traditional soup, we made it into a fried rice. So it's just like your rice bowl, but it's with the same, ano, same components. You have your, ano, steamed chicken. Yeah, you have steamed sabaw niya. That's where the, actually the rice is cooked. So, talaga malasa talaga yung rice nito. Takay ba siya sobra? The pork belly to sino yes si Peter G. So as you can see, it's very thick. Um, but the flavor should, ano, remind you of your classic tosino. And then we paired it with some burong manga, if you want to have some of it. It reminds you, and yeah, it reminds you of your diba, parang breakfast kind of thing. Yeah. Sarap ng ano niya, yung mixture with the manga. It 
feels both like an old and new experience for me to savor on dishes like how my mom cooks for me in an ancestral house like this in the midst of an urban city. But don't take my word for it, you have to try it for yourself because for sure, you'll enjoy all the dishes. This has been Janelle T for Tonight Chat.